What's up guys, Rodrigo Banzato here. Welcome to Tonka 3D Total Image. I would like to show you some examples uh, of the materials and the tools that we use in, in this course about the image, textures, panoramics, games and stuff. Let's get started with Photoshop. I have the Photoshop open here and uh, as you can see I have the, a clean visual. I just have the layers and the tools bars. In window you can see that just the layers and the tools are here. Of course you can leave the channels here. You can manipulate this visual and, and close the these bars or move them but I prefer to work like this. Okay, uh, let's see a um, simple example here with a color correction. We have this image. Okay, this is another uh, interesting image you will see that is very different, it's very game uh, visual. And this image with color correction we have this result and this and um, we change the background to make it a um, more interesting image okay uh, I will talk about uh, a little about uh, Photoshop tools uh, I always like to to work with this scroll mouse button to zoom in and zoom out you can in edit preference general you can enable the zoom with scroll wheel, okay? But when, uh, sometimes I'm, I'm working here and I just want to press the m middle mouse button to change it to, to a pun, okay? Uh, how I made this? Uh, I will show you. I have a program here. You can take this program too. It's the X mouse button control, and here you can add the uh, any type of program you want. For example, here I add I add the Photoshop. In the middle mouse button, I selected simulated keys. Here, uh, I when I press this letter, I change uh, the pan, to pan mode. Okay. L uh, L M B a uh, left mouse button. All right. Um, oh, by the way, I have an, an another program here called Audacity, where I use it the well up and well down uh, with this uh, control one, control three to zoom in and zoom out uh, just with the mouse. I don't like to to work with the keyboard so I prefer to, to work with the the mouse in this case okay this is very personal and here I will show you some uh, another examples for example this panoramic we have seven f f photos to, to, to make uh, this image of course with uh, expensive digital cameras you can um, make a, an image like this with less photos but uh, let's understand with the program PT guy you can uh, take these seven photos and as you can see he turns this, these images in spaces like this twist it then together okay but let's go back to Photoshop you can see th that this is uh, a normal exposure photo and this is an HDR image it's much more interesting beautiful and uh, see the difference we make this image taking three photos and uh, three different exposures one more dark one normal and one more bright and in Photomatics Pro this is the program it's very simple very simple and I will show you you can make this type of images okay here is another example and um, we have a very nice program let me show you it's the FSP viewer we can view our HDR images 
Look, we don't have the tripod, all clean, visual, with high resolution. Okay, these uh, images has uh, have fourteen thousand pixels. Okay, this is the FSP view. It's a very simple program to work. In uh, the video tutorials introduction, you have the README, where you can see all the programs I I'm talking about and the uh, the links of the programs. Okay. Let's uh, see uh, some other examples. For example, I have the UDK. I did um, a quick. This is the script. Uh, a quick production here to show how you can start uh, an interactive uh, panoramic uh, game. Okay, let's get. Let's press play. As you can see, we have sound. We have. Uh, you, we can add the special sound effects. We can see all the the, the texture here. And with the spacebar, of course, uh, if you have uh, more 3D knowledge, you can add the uh, some text here, some some other things. But I made this to get to, to let you uh, get started with this panoramics. So I, I don't want to complicate it too much. With the spacebar, we change the panoramic. So this is a really interesting thing uh, to to show your vacation pictures and or to, to put uh, in other way. Okay, I press the space bar again, and you have another situation here just with sound effects. The sound effect uh, is in the in, in one side of the image. It's very interesting. All right, let's uh, let me ask here and let's talk about uh, a little about uh, textures. Okay, here it's a it's a photo, and here I made the, the tileable. Okay, I will show you how to quickly make this texture tileable and quickly how to make a normal end displacement I, I really like this area because sometimes I some in some cases you you will prefer to make the displacement in Photoshop some cases you will prefer to make the displacement in mud box here I have the mud box L let me show you uh, this work here so in the mud box I extracted the normal and the displacement map channels or sometimes I can go here and use NDO to produce the normal maps for example here I produced uh, the, the normal map of this rock uh, or stone and I can see the result in this cube if I scroll the mouse button and zoom in, if I press the middle mouse mouse button, I can rotate. If I click the right mouse button and move, I can change where the light is. So all these things to test uh, to test our normal. Okay, here is it's a um, there's a layers of my normal. Let me turn off this cube. And for example, you can see the difference here, all right? You can make more stronger. Look at how you can see it now the result. So, uh, NDO it's a very powerful tool. You have presets here uh, that you can use, it. and and you can transform a normal to a to a displacement map like this. So as uh, a, as I talk it to you, uh, as I said to you, sometimes I prefer to make um, the displacement first. Let's see in the 3ds Max. Here is an example. It's a very beautiful um, plant wall. Here I using 
this displacement, this displacement I made in the Photoshop. So it's a very different example. Uh, have the normal. This is another normal uh, because I was manipulating early this uh, file. So I would like to show you here in brick walls. Let's say in stone pedra. For example, we have the two thousand forty-eight pixel textures and the four thousand pixel textures here. Because we are working with four thousand pixels, pixels textures, uh, the NGO it's uh, it takes too much long to to produce this image. You will see if you try to convert this four thousand pix pixels to an NGO normal. Let's go back here and in materials, you will see that you have uh, different options: array, manta ray, V-ray. V-ray is very is very good. I really like the very. I will bring this here, so you see how I configure it, um, my files. So if you want a different rock, for example, you just need to to change this image. Clicking here, okay. Here's a specular that's the same or not? No, it's uh, not the same. You have the normal and you have the displacement. Let's see. It this this displacement. I believe I did this in Mudbox. All right. We have an HDR image to illuminate the scene. I spot here to to let one side more bright than other. Let's click render. You see that uh, it's it, uh, it's very fast. Let's wait a little bit. And you see a great result in this texture. Every texture, like I said, it's styleable and you can multiplicate this in any wall with any size. I will show you how to to, to, to make all these changes. Let me cancel here, it's fine. And what but what I want to say to you is about the array material. Because we have here the array materials, you can have the link here. Let's open. Let's go back here. Of course, we have two, a lot more textures, not too much materials, but uh, take a look and how much textures we have here. For example, in the brick wall, look uh, how many textures we have in the ground for example I have a lot of textures here all right so the the materials is to to ha to guide you to to use it, these materials and make it little changes to use with your own textures okay let's uh, see mm, the materials the of course we have the mental ray Right, and um, let's take some. Let's take the wall, and just to show you that we use here in the mental ray, in the mental ray render, I use the arch in design, and I will show you how to, to where to 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 make your your textures here. What channels? Let me click in render. And you see a great result. Let's wait a little. This is a great text ring. Okay. Okay, so you can see the displacement here. It's really uh, nice to work with displacement and sometimes with the normal map. Okay. But I, what I want to say is that the array, when you download the array, you can, let's take the brick, oh, of course you can double click here and choose on text tree. Okay. Let's take the brick. Let's drop here, open. And 
the only thing that uh, I think he, it's not too much perfect is because the normal map. You don't have an um, U-Ray normal map. You have, it, for example, a V-Ray normal map and um, place to put your normal maps. But in the V-Ray, uh, we don't have it. Uh, depending on the project you are working, uh, I really prefer to use the array because it uses the GP, the GPU, the, the 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 process of your video card, so it's it's really fast, and you can even choose how many seconds you want in the array render. I will show you this during the course, some examples. Have a look and and see how the contrast of the the look is it's really clean it's really really interesting okay this is these little artifacts you can correct in the displacement size it's a little configuration and like i said i will show you everything about the these handers of this three type of handers and um i think it's it's no no guys i show it to you the how uh, some examples uh, of how we will manipulate the, the the image the textures about the nedo that's a great tool you can work and um, about the array and how i organize it, all these textures and materials about mudbox and how we can uh, extract it and work in here very comfortable about the um, this little tool fsp view to view our um, panoramic image really fast how to stitch together our uh, images and uh, how to make an interactive game and how to make finally how to make a very impacted HDR imaging. Okay, guys, um, hope you like this introduction, and let's go.